Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello? 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 Hey man, where am I? Would you mind please getting hot? This is a very hot place. Yeah, it looks like it's hot in here. Hey, it must be my suit. What is so special about your suit? It's an ultra-high heat capacity suit. Yeah. High heat capacity? Hmm... Well, it is only a matter of time now. It is starting to get a little warm now. Like I said, only a matter of time. Just gonna take longer. <laughs> What is heat capacity? Heat capacity is a measure of how much heat a material can hold. Glass, water, and plastics are examples of materials that have a very high heat capacity. This means these materials absorb a lot of heat just to slightly increase their temperature. So when these materials cool down, they have to release a lot of heat just to slightly decrease their temperature. Have you ever burned your mouth when eating pizza? Pizza can hold a lot of heat. This has caused a lot of pizza mouth burns. Using an infrared thermometer, the temperature of the glass and metal plate is the same. However, when they are touched, the metal plate feels colder. Don't believe me? Go ahead and try touching objects around you you'll find that metallic objects feel cooler to the touch. Metallic objects feel cool to the touch because metal transfers heat from your fingers very quickly. In other words, metal has a very high thermal conductivity. Let's do some experiments and see if we can get some further insights into thermal conductivity and heat capacity. If a small, identical, piece of ice is placed on glass and metal plates, what do you think will happen? Pick an answer and see if you are right. So did you guess right? Remember, metals have a very high thermal conductivity in comparison to other materials. So the metal plate can more rapidly transfer heat from the warm room to the cold ice, causing the ice to melt faster. This is a hard one. Let's see if you can get it. Here are two aluminum cans. One can is full of soda, the other is empty. If we flip them over, and place an identical piece of ice on each, what do you think will happen? Pick an answer and see if you are right. Did you get it right? 
I told you this was a hard one. The ice is on a metal can in both situations, so the can is unimportant in our answer. Instead, think of ice always melting more quickly where it is warmer. In the empty can, air circulation keeps the temperature surrounding the can as warm as possible, which is the temperature of the warm room. Therefore, the ice melts fastest on the empty can. Let's put a balloon over a candle. What do you think will happen? Pick an answer and see if you are right. Rubber burns and makes a smoky mess. Let's put an air-filled balloon over a candle. What do you think will happen? Pick an answer and see if you are right. Did you get it right? There is only a small mass of air in the balloon. There is not enough air to absorb all that candle heat, so the balloon rapidly bursts, blowing out the candle. Let's put a water-filled balloon over a candle. What do you think will happen? Pick an answer and see if you are right. Did you get it right? In the same volume of the balloon, the water is much more massive than air. In fact, the mass of water is 15,000 times larger than the mass of air in the balloon. With this large mass, combined with the large heat capacity of water, a lot of candle heat can be absorbed by the water in the balloon before the balloon will fail. The torch simply applies too much heat too quickly for the heat to be transferred from the balloon to the water and the balloon fails. However, did you notice that even with an extremely hot torch, the balloon did not burn because heat was transferred to the water. Let's review. The heat capacity is a measure of how much heat an object or material can hold. Glass and water have a high heat capacity, so a lot of heat must be absorbed by these materials before their temperature will increase. The large heat capacity of pizza is why it can give you burns. The thermal conductivity of a material is a measure of how rapidly heat is transferred to an object or material. Thermal conductivity is the reason metals feel cold to the touch.